Our guest today is Taryn Kashuk Russell, who is the director of the Heartless Dance Center of the 92nd Street Y in New York. So um, after an extensive performance career in both classical and modern dance, and then jumping into artistic management, what is it that you hope to bring to audiences? And what do you feel like is necessary to bring to audiences and dancers? I think for me, the biggest things that first come up are connection and shared humanity. The older I get, the more important it feels to me to make sure that the experiences that we're presenting as presenters give people joy, but also allow space for sadness and mourning and uh, all of the things that we do experience as human beings, but uh, told through an art form. If I could do anything as a presenter, uh, that would be impactful. It would be allowing people to feel a greater humanity. When you took over the Hartness Dance Center in September of 2019, how have your uh, desire for diversification in its very ca various capacities been addressed? What really led me to 92nd Street Y and the Hartness Dance Center had to do with the risk-taking and the space that was created for individual artists prior to them being these large named artists that we now know. What I was tasked with was to look at all of the different uh, offerings with dance that had uh, branched out of the Harkness Dance Center and try to align them in a cohesive vision to move forward. Really, my first six months, the challenges were understanding the physical infrastructure and the programmatic issues that went along with how many things were being programmed and how little space actually existed. And I was getting positioned to kind of relaunch and think about where we were going to be in September of this year. And then everything changed. The digital age has undeniably changed the game for dancers and educators and administrators. In your opinion, what strategies seem to have been successful and, and are worth pursuing? I'm loving the connections that were made during this time that wouldn't have been made otherwise. Those have inspired me the most, people that have gone kind of outside the box and uh, taken up ideas so that they're not trying to replicate what we view in person, but instead really lean into uh, the newness of this moment that we're in and let it innovate. I think anything that really strikes the imagination in this virtual space that people have been working with is uh, going down the right alley. I know, Taryn, that you are a big advocate for dancers with scoliosis, something that you yourself have dealt with your entire career. What is the message that you want to send? So this is my normal back all the time, but again, just to, I've learned um, to, to find this in my anatomy, to try to figure out how that um, equalizes. And I'm thinking that I had to take something away or change something, I finally um, recognize that what was most successful in my dancing with scoliosis is that you can never take something away from your own body. Your own body is what it is, and what you can do is occupy more space. And not only as someone with scoliosis, but as a woman, <laughs> that's been a really impactful message uh, for me to know is that you cannot um, box yourself in or become smaller or uh, cut something out but you can become something more. And in becoming a mother, it really resonated to me that so much of my ability to see things from a different perspective came out of having scoliosis. Understanding so much of the fear that we have comes from not seeing people occupy space before we walk into it. Tara, you exude such a positive and grounded vibe. It's unbelievable. How have you maintained this positive, optimistic outlook during challenging times. All of us uh, as a society spend so much time away doing other things. We're all so busy. I, what is that beautiful John Lennon quote? You know, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. I think that this time has really refocused on that life that happens in that space and, and made it the golden and something to value. Uh, and I know I'm definitely a glass half full person, but it I, I don't want to take anything for granted. Well, certainly you're an inspiration to speak with and, and that, that you've done all that you do. Plus, you've been like an amazing mother. And, and uh, thank you so much for sharing your life with us, your thoughts with us. Mm -hmm.